Hey, I'm Wayne McPhail for Rabble TV. It's a rainy day in uh, Gray County. I'm up here on vacation and came across the Grassroots Organics Eco Farm run by Sean McGiven, a fellow Hamiltonian. Um, and he's come up here to raise a, a whole bunch of heritage uh, beef, pork, and chickens, uh, some Rhode Island Reds and some uh, varieties of, of beef cattle we haven't seen for, for quite a while in production. He's also doing a lot of organic farming with the local farmers here in Bruce County and Gray County to revive a, an organic uh, focused farming. Um, part of the advantage in this area is that the farms aren't that great. They're, there's some stony ground and so they're not of a lot of interest to large farming uh, organizations. So the small farmers have an opportunity to use those farms to grow organic products, to sell them here in the store as we'll see. So let's take a look around the farm and a look around the, uh, the Grassroots Organic Eco Farm store and meet with Sean himself. So how did you end up uh, out here with this farm? Uh, my parents relocated to the area when I was eight years old, about 22 years ago, from uh, Hamilton. We lived up on the mountain in Hamilton, and we uh, been coming up here for hockey tournaments. And uh, my parents just decided that they really liked the area and wanted to relocate here. Okay, so we're just leaving the the sh shop now. We're heading over to your one of your farms, right? That's correct. So how many acres have you got all together? We farm about a thousand acres all together, and we own about 500 acres. Wow. And how long has it taken you to build all that up? Oh, uh, we bought the first farm 22 years ago and have added uh, four or five other farm properties to it since that time. Now you could have gone a lot of different directions with the farm, but you decided to go sort of a very strong, serious eco route. Why is that? What sparked that? Um, I, I guess I just didn't have the agricultural background, university background, where they teach a lot of chemical farming and and conventional farming methods. So I, I had to learn everything on my on my own, and it just seemed to make sense to me to go this route. And where did you learn the organic route? I worked for a lot of farmers when I was young, younger and volunteered a lot. And I you worked at that co-op, right? No one Sound to begin with, yeah. right? That was your first job? Yeah, I worked for the Huron Bay Co-op in Owen Sound, and then I went to work for Organic Meadows, Organic Farmers Cooperative after that. Okay, so what kind of farm we got here? This is uh, our smaller farm. It's an 85-acre property, and we have a... We use it as a kind of a demonstration to show people what we do. Okay. And it's right beside our mill property, so it works good to give people an idea of how we farm. Cool. So let's see what you do. Sure. We got a sow with some pigs here. Oh wow. Look at those little guys. Hello. Wow, how many pigs are there? Eight little pigs. Eight little piggies. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother them, don't worry. They're as cute as anything, eh? Yeah. Hey, right, kids. Quite a bit different than ah. hog, hog confinement operations are. <laughs> yeah, so you've got lots of room. The little yeah. kids have got lots of room to play. Yeah, we don't use any any crates or stalls or anything like that. They're all free free to roam around the pen. All right. Cool. Lots Good of morning. Room. All right. Yeah. Not bad. Good. So what else you got here? You can show us. Yeah, we had some laying hens down here in the laying coop. Morning, ladies. Oh, seem like a happy crew. Yeah. These are all laying hens. Yep. Yeah. It's time of the morning they lay their eggs, so you can see the boxes behind you are all full. Hi folks. You get any eggs for us this morning, ladies? Lots of fresh eggs in every box here. Oh. <laughs> An egg in every... Yeah, that's beauty. Yeah. So how many hens lay eggs will they lay a day? Um, yeah, one. Sometimes a little more than one right now. They're uh, the spring is always top production time, so right. sometimes we have a little more than 100 percent production. Right. Then in the winter time it drops down to about 70 percent production. Wow. This is a field of heritage uh, red fife wheat. Now, Red Fife was really sort of a really original grain in Ontario, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, we're 
growing about uh, 75 acres of it this year in our crop rotation. And what's the advantage of Red Fife? Uh, we find it's got really good baking qualities and it tastes really good. It actually produces bread that has flavor to it. Right. So again, if that's the case, and I'm sure it is, you know, why isn't it in as much production commercially? It only yields about half of what conventional wheat does. Right. We also are able, though, to get about four times the price for the Red Fife wheat that the conventional farmers would get for their uh, hybrid varieties of wheat. So why doesn't more people, that sounds like there's twice the, uh, twice the money to be made, so why aren't more farmers doing it? It just seems to be a lot of people are just, you know, they get all their crop info and research and everything from uh, companies right. anymore. It's not from government agencies or extension officers. Right. So now the people that bring the information to the farmers are people trying to sell them a product. Right. And a product like Red Fife where we seed save and keep our own seed back doesn't generate any money for multinational corporations. Where are we now? This is our uh, grain cleaning mill where we do our primary cleaning of the grain. So when we bring it in from the fields, we store it in bins. Right. And then throughout the, the fall and winter and spring, we take the grain put it through our cleaning equipment to remove any weed, seeds, or straw, or any kind of foreign material, right. get it ready for milling. This is coming in from not just your farms, but from our other local farmers. That's right? right, we work with about 12 other farms. Well, it's still warm. Yeah, I just granted flour two minutes ago. Uh, so what, does this be Red Fife? Uh, yeah, actually that is Red Fife. He was just making two bags for a customer fresh. Wow. So this is your store here? Yes. So how long has the store been? Oh, we opened the store two years ago now. Cool. You get mainly local traffic or uh, we get a lot tourists? Of, we get a lot of local people and we get a lot of people who come on weekends uh, from right. out of the area to stock up. You know, come a few times a year. Right. Cool. So show me around. What do you got here? Yeah. We, uh, we have uh, pastas made out of our own flour that right. we uh, grow on our farm. And we have custom manufacturers manufacture that for us out of our own grain. We sell other local products, Crew Farm, tomatoes from Chatham, organic farm. And uh, we carry some products like local sunflower, organic sunflower oil made in Mitchell, Ontario at another farm. And we have local preserves and local honey and local organic apple ciders from another farm in our county. Yeah. And we also do orga organic popcorn and non-GMO popcorns from a farm down in southern Ontario. They grow all different colored varieties. My wife and I have been coming this area on vacation a, a fair bit over the years and we get the sense especially around uh, Port Elgin, so Hampton area, that the, the farms are a bit on a bit of a decline. Is that changing? Is um, that? Certain areas seem to be where the better agricultural land is, there's a lot mm -hmm. better cash crop land in that area, it seems to be being taken over by larger, more corporate type farms. Mm -hmm. But in our area here where the farms are a little rougher, not as high production land, it seems to be more of a renaissance of small back to the land people producing quality food. Okay, and so when you say this area, can you describe this area that we're in right now? Yeah, this uh, town, we're in the township of Sullivan. It's kind of noted for its stony fields and hedgerows. Right. Um, very hundred, mostly 100 acre farms, all enclosed and in cross section with stone fences throughout all the farm properties. Right. So the, the fact that it's not the, the best farming line is sort of an advantage for organic to some extent in terms of That's not right. being interested in... That's right. We don't have big cash croppers coming in who want 100 acre fields. We, right. When we talk big fields here, we talk 10 and 12 and 20 acre fields, not hundreds of acres in one section. Right. Okay. Excellent. Sean, thank you very Great. much for joining us. Thank you. Okay.